Hello and welcome back. Now, I hope that you have some pen and paper handy. So, where were we before? Now, we were talking about how you could split the problems of high blood pressure into four smaller groups. Um, the groups are causes, damages, signs and symptoms, and consequences. So, first, we will talk about the causes of high blood pressure. Now, if you've been seeing your doctor, if you've been reading up or if you've been watching YouTube videos, then you would have some idea what's causing your high blood pressure. As I mentioned before, it is very important to treat the causes. When you are treating the causes, you are working on a cure for your high blood pressure. So, what are some of the causes for high blood pressure? Some of the causes include if you are stressed, if you have anxiety, if you have depression, that can lead to increased blood pressure. If you smoke, if you are obese or overweight, if you have a chronic lung disease like um, cystic fibrosis, asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, if you have chest infection, pneumonia, whooping cough, tuberculosis, or if you just have a common cold. Also, if you are anemic, if you have iron deficiency anemia, or if you have sickle cell anemia, or if you are taking too much salt in your diet, if you have a condition called hyperthyroidism, or even hypothyroidism, if you have increased cholesterol in your blood, if you have diabetes, if you are pregnant, or if you are dehydrated, if you have caffeine, too much caffeine, too much coffee, too much coke, and there are other unknown causes that we have to be aware of. These are some of the causes, but it means nothing if you don't know how they cause your high blood pressure. So how does stress and anxiety cause high blood pressure? How does smoking cause high blood pressure? How does being overweight or obese cause high blood pressure? Unless you know why, nothing is going to stick in your head. You need to know why or how these causes lead to high blood pressure in order to treat your high blood pressure effectively. So, next I will go into more details how does each of these causes lead to high blood pressure. Now remember that it is very uncommon for you to have a single cause that leads to high blood pressure. You normally have a combination of different causes. Your body is a very efficient machine. If only one thing breaks down, another system will go in and fill the gap.